Stick around to the end of the video. We're giving away an XP800. Today on the Slant Lens, we're shooting a commercial for a client called Mini Benny. They make an air freshener for your trash can that really does work. We're going to show how well it works by shooting a woman laying in a bed of garbage, literally laying on her bed that is covered in garbage. We want a very dreamy look as she recites her prose laying in a bed of garbage, so we're going to use a combination of LEDs, daylight, and tungsten lights to create that dreamy look. Joel Ackerman from Ackerman Creative is a genius behind the concept today. Joel's an incredible writer and director. The staging was a bit challenging. Jolene worked for several days creating garbage. You know, big chunks of oatmeal, old steak and vegetables. She's a master at this type of thing and did a great job. I'm going to put the camera overhead on a boom and tether it back to the computer with a USB cable. We will now look at the image and make all adjustments in camera utilities on the laptop. I have used this a lot and just find it very easy to work with this application. I will set my color balance to tungsten even though we're shooting with LEDs and tungsten lights. I will shoot at 1 50th of a second and 320 ISO and aperture 5.6. I want a bit of depth of field, so focus is going to be a big problem on this. To solve that focus problem, I had my assistant magnify the image on the computer and I would focus while he's looking at the enlarged image. Let's take a look at our lighting. We're working in a virtually dark room. Here's our first image. There is no light in here. That means it's a clean canvas, we can do whatever we want. Our first light is a source 4 tungsten light on her face. I really do love this light because it has shutters on four sides that allow you to cut the pool of light down to whatever shape you want. Now I added a 1K that I'm going to bounce into the ceiling just to open up the shadows. We want smoke coming out from under the bed as part of the dreamlike setting. I'm going to use the Roscoe 1900 smoker as our smoke source. I'm using the stage and studio smoke that will dissipate much quicker so we can set up and kind of go from shot to shot much quicker. It's much easier to work with this, especially in a confined space. To light that smoke, I will put a series of North Star lights under the bed. Here's our first North Star LED under the bed just above her head. Now I'm going to place another North Star just to the right under the bed. Now I added a second North Star light on the right side. These I'm laying on their side on a sandbag as they point out away from the middle of the bed. I only have two more North Star lights. I'm going to place one on the left side under the bed. My last North Star light is coming in from camera left. It is just a reflector on it and it's going to give me nice highlights on the garbage. I'm using that smaller reflector that kicks off a little more light, gives us a little more of a highlight. You know, without this light, this scene would seem very flat to me. It gives just a little highlights dancing around on the garbage. Looks very cool, I think. My last adjustment was to rub Vaseline on the corners of the lens. We want this to be a dreamy world that she's living in, so the Vaseline will blur out the edges and make it look a little more dreamy. Here's her opening dialogue in our lighting setup. I punched in for a close-up to cut with that long shot and picked up some tight shots of the trash to cut with the opening scene. So let's listen to her prose as she lays in her bed of garbage. Why am I laying in this bed of garbage? Forgotten dishes of chicken carcasses, oily corn cobs, leftover fish kebabs, soggy cereal, sponge material. How can I stand laying on this divan of debris? Well, this trash smells great. Shooting on tungsten gave the background a nice blue look. It's those LEDs that are shining out from underneath the bed, their daylight balance. Those North Stars look really blue as they come out from under the bed but I kept her face neutral with that Source 4 tungsten light. Gives us a nice color juxtaposition between the two. I thought it looked very nice and very dreamy. I love working with LEDs and tungsten lights on set. It shows you can get some very interesting looks when you combine these two different light color sources. It's just important that you know what each of them will do and then work with them accordingly. So I hope this has been as educational for you as it was for me. So don't be afraid to mix two different light sources and keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. Remember, the giveaway for September is a Dynalite XP800 battery pack that powers your strobes on location. The person who guesses closest to the number of times this XP800 will fire a 400 watt second power pack on full wins. If you guessed 100 below, you are way off. Gotta be a lot higher than that. Better go back and guess again.